I just wanted to do a quick update on something that's kind of a serious topic, and that's the question of Ebola in West Africa. Now, the press hasn't really reported on it a lot in over a month, maybe a couple of months, and at least in the U.S. I can't speak for foreign press. But it disturbs me that all of a sudden it's as if Ebola is not really a problem or an issue. It's not really on the, the view screen for many Americans. And that just doesn't make much sense to me. Look, according to the World Health Organization, Ebola is still going strong. I can't remember the exact statistics, but you can look them up. As of December, I think there were over 7,500, closing in on 8,000 deaths as a result of Ebola. And exposure or confirmed cases was obviously much higher than that. And in fact, they don't have a really good grip on the numbers and clearly state in their latest update that any numbers they give are, are likely to be underestimates. Underestimates, sorry. Um, because in these countries, in Sierra Leone and Guinea and other countries in West Africa, it's a stigma. Nobody wants to report a family member that has Ebola. And people who recover from the disease are often ostracized and basically pushed out of their circle of friends, community, whatever. So, and then there, in, in terms of its, its spread, there are a number of, of kind of traditions within these communities, these West African communities, that just basically are the wrong things to do if you want to keep from getting Ebola. And I covered some of this in a previous video. I'll, I'll put a link to it here. Um, look. Ebola is still out there. Ebola is still going strong. It's leveled off in a couple of countries, but Sierra Leone, like I mentioned, it's, it's still spreading. And we all need to be aware of what's going on, and we all need to be aware of the risks. So I encourage you, again, look at my first video. I go into Ebola. I know that since I did that first video, there was this period where everybody was saying that the government's lying to us, and Ebola is airborne, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Look, those, you know what? A lot of that was coming from sensationalist Alex Jones type reporters, okay? And it's a load of crap. Ebola is not airborne in the sense that the flu is, okay? Yeah, if somebody coughs and sends a few drops your way uh, and they land on you, there's a chance you could come down with Ebola. And you saw a number of health workers get Ebola just from not following proper procedures or from not wearing good enough protective equipment. So anyway, um, I just wanted to do a quick update on that and make sure everyone was still aware that Ebola is out there, it hasn't gone away, it's still a problem. Um, there have been no more confirmed cases in the U.S. as far as I'm aware in the last couple of months, but that could change at any moment. What do I think about the nurse out west who refused to follow quarantine? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, to me, if I were going in west, in, work in West Africa volunteering or whatever, and I knew that I would be coming back to a, to a situation where people are going to be worried about whether or not I could spread some disease to them. And there was an issue of having a thermometer, whether it was wrong or not, a thermometer saying that I had a fever. I would have no problem going to, into quarantine for 21 days. I mean, come on. Weigh the, the benefits and risks on that one. Now, I don't think she's selfish either. I just think that she you know, looks at this a little differently than I do. But still, you know, I, I, I kind of think she acted like an idiot. That's just my opinion. Anyway, a couple of other changes to the channel. I, and I apologize for any noise in the background. Also, I wanted to update you on a couple of changes to my channel. Um, if you notice, if you go to the homepage on my YouTube channel, there's a place where you can donate money um, if you want to keep seeing videos that I do. It's not easy to put these videos together. It takes a lot of time. If you're going to do quality videos, and I hope you can tell from, from my videos compared to, you know, go look, go look at other videos out there. You know, it, on YouTube, it's, it's, it's hard to make a video that actually looks like it's high quality and well produced. And I'm not saying mine are professional by any means, but they're pretty good. And I have to do all the work myself. I'm not outsourcing it or shopping it off to, uh, to, to the Philippines that some people do because they'll do it cheaply for you. I'm doing it all myself. It takes time takes um, a lot of uh, work and I have to rent or buy the software for doing all this, uh, the camera equipment. So anything you can give, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, just click on the, I've forgotten what the button says, but if you go to my homepage, it's kind of on the, the right hand side of the, of the screen. Um, 
above where all the recommended channels are and you'll see you'll see there's a little box there that says you know donate or whatever and I'm glad YouTube put that feature on it's pretty cool as usual buy my books um, I'm working on another book that hopefully will be bought by a publisher soon I'm in the editing phase of that and then I'm going to ship it off to my agent and got a number of short stories coming out I mentioned them in some earlier videos and I'll do something more involved once I once I actually get physical copies of the books in my hands so I can hold them up and, and show you what they look like. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. End transmission. Something happy. Something. I get the news. I say something.